Viral, nigga. Viral. When are we actually going viral? <laughs> viral. I was I was watching I was watching Zoembe documentary. By um Zola Seven, obviously. So part of me is actually disappointed in myself over the fact that I didn't pay attention to bro and bro's work and and the way he was and the person he was in the country, you know. I've always had people I've always had like all the all the people, all the brothers and sisters, you know, the people that that fucked with him. I've always had them, you know, speak of him so profoundly and they said he was he was like the Tupac of SA music. You know, that's what they always said, but I didn't really take it to head. Or tried to look into him and actually find out with his keeper and oh boy. But Seeing the first episode of them of Mlem because I think it's gonna be like a series or something, man. Not really sure. But after seeing that first episode and seeing the way he was articulating himself, the way he was, and and actually understanding the songs, because honestly, I didn't really do shit. Like I didn't really know, bro, like that. Like Zola, you like next some TV show. I don't wanna lie, and I think a lot of us, you know, we never know fear. We don't really know him like that. For sure, I'm not the only one. So such documentaries, Joe, they are tools so in a way. Like they help us to get to know Bumji Machita, you know. Yeah, they help us to get to know the impact they had more, more the culture, you know, or even in the streets, even 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 our parents or the people that that came before us that that used to look up to him. You get to realize why certain hoods were the way they were and why certain people reacted the way they were reacting. It's because of the influence that he had. He was a big influence, bro. I don't want to lie. And me viewing that and seeing Yizo Yizo what it was and the impact it had, especially Kukaslak, like Nakasi Agatimbisa, dog, like, especially during those times. I had a lot of stories like during those times and when I made my research like Gaslaka no during those times like 2099 98 like during those times like 2001 and whatever it was insane go Tim as far as war you know as far as um how do I say it? like bad bad behavior in itself you know machi that was just be behaving so gruesome <laughs> some of them didn't really get the concept cuz Cause the way he portrayed himself, Zola, it's it's the same as Tupac. Like, it's like, would portray it as a dog, right? To to the world and to to them niggas in in the states who actually were looking up to him. You understand? And they didn't really get the concept. With him, it was like I'm trying to grab some attention. I'm trying to make people, um, I'm trying to yeah, I'm trying to grab some attention. I'm trying to make people focus on me, but but. All their attention, it must it must be on me. So he was trying to grab some attention, and once he got it, he was he was able to spit some game. He was able to to be profound with his words, and I gonna inspire about. But what I what I noticed is in in such cases, majority of niggas or majority of people um look up to you in a way that. Like, as far as, like, Park, they looked up to him in a way that they wanted to be dogs. They just wanted to go out and shoot in the, in the streets. Because that's what he was kind of portraying, you know? That dog life shit, in which they didn't really understand. It's more... It, it's it's like... It's like... <sighs> Guys, the example, Zhuang, boy. Because his... He, it wasn't in his intention, but he wasn't going to become that big. If if he didn't do what he did, same as Zola, like him as a person, his persona and the way he was, the way he looked, he portrayed he portrayed a certain character, a certain, you know, yeah, persona in itself that that inspired niggas in the hood to go around like you know doing crazy stuff. In if, even even when somebody was trying to like Mutan Nanya you you'd stand up 
on him, you know, and 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 uzamulo na lie na and stuff, cause we're not going over, you know, you listen to Zola and stuff. But in itself, it, it impacted people positively and negatively. That's always how it is, and great people are always possessing that type of energy, you know. All the greatest people in the world, they possess t- energy. To be honest, like they have both sides, especially they have the black and white. Like they, they're not, they don't know, they're not only black. They are just black and white. You know, there's ne- you get negative um, impacts from them and positive impacts from them. You know, you don't, you don't, you don't just get positive things. I mean, that's fake. If you see somebody that's big, and is is considered maybe great. Sure. Sure. Yeah, I see. Eh? Sweet chili. Um, you know, mm. oh, that. Yeah, basic, snack, so yo, <laughs> yo gotta know, but yeah, what was I saying? Actually, I was talking about the impact they had, you know, the impact they have. They they really took, um, Makas, especially Zola, like he took Makasi. Machitako Kasi and put them in a certain realm of thought, you know. Some niggas who were, I don't really want to say street smart, you know, cause cause street smart it, it's it's seen as something else out there, oh. But some kids who were who really really wanted to venture into something into into other things in life, they wanted to become something in life. They wanted, you know, they wanted to see themselves becoming something. They they grabbed all the positive things that Zola was portraying. I mean, he was portraying an image. He was be he was, um, he was like God to a lot of people. You know, he was he was worshipped. He was like a totem, a totem, which people were using as some sort of um, spiritual motivation or somebody that is somebody that you use to actually inspire you to walk your own path he was that person for a lot of kids or a lot of people in the hood so some niggas they viewed him and they thought maybe being a colova is 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 uh is actually being a totsi a kasi and whatever you know um being hard it's not really about being hard bro it's not really about like you know i could say it's about being strong you know and standing up for what you what you think is right and standing up for 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 the people that love you and the people around you and also them standing up for you you know i feel like what they were trying to teach is is that yo you need to to be a strong man you know you need to stand up for for what you value you know you know, you need to stand up for it, you know, and not let people um make you fold and and and, and then you end up making certain decisions over the fact that you you feel a certain pressure from, from somebody or you have to be socially acceptable in a way. And then you end up doing something that you don't really fuck with. Like if you see anybody that's great, bro, like I'm talking now or ever, bro. If Nalam Toilong or he's the greatest person ever at what he does and he's just good bro and there's no evil or or bad or black in whatever that he does and all his career bro nobody's perfect bro if you see somebody that that is great and is portrayed as good just know bro he's not real just know he's not real bro because there's no such thing as good bro one cannot exist without the other you know if Good exists, then there's evil. So if you see somebody portraying all the good things about themselves, then they're not real. Then they are not real. How do you relate to somebody like that? Unless if your life is good, unless if you are happy and you have what you want, 
then you know you can relate to them but if you don't, if you struggle and in a bad and in a bad space where you probably don't want to be in the next few years how do you relate to somebody that portrays good energy all the time bro like something that's good how bro? give me so Pardon my arrogance. Caspanovi. You got what I'm saying? Like, if you portray. Uh, good energy only bro like there's something wrong with you bro like there's no way like you all have to pay attention to such things like you have to you really really study the people you look up to you know don't just look up to somebody you know because that's that's energy on itself and you feeding it to somebody that doesn't deserve it you know you all feed your energy to people that that don't really deserve to end it you know but it is what it is. I just wanted to touch on the the, the 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 documentary. I feel like it's very vital and it helps people understand Zola and understand the impact he had. You know, like, ain't no way, bro, there's an artist out there that's big and he doesn't really suffer or have, you know, trials and, t- and tribulations, bro. This is life, bro. This is not no TV game. This is not no movie. This is life, you know? So life free, are you perfect? I don't remember any life that was perfect. That's why the people I fuck with, like Ronaldo, for example, and I'm not even going to speak about, I'm not even going to mention any other person or whatever, but Ronaldo, for example, if you if we have a career ya high, boy, like, he has always had people hating on him. And he has all the love. Like, not all the love, but he has the love. Like, he, people, a lot of people love him, but he had a lot of people hating him as well. That's why he, I feel like that's why he was so great, bro, because he had the balance, you know, his his life was balanced like that. And then some people, their lives are portrayed as good, you know, there's no evil shit that surfaces of their lives. Or, it, or even if it does, but it, it always gets, it always like gets um brush, brushed away, you know, it always gets brushed away. Like they don't want us to see, it. they don't want people to see it like that, you know, but yeah. If, just know, bro, if good exists, evil exists. One cannot exist without the other. So if you go around telling people that they're good people or they do good or whatever, or somebody is is just a good person, bro, like, there's no such thing. Then then they are not living their life fully, bro. Like, to, to live life fully, bro, you have to balance shit, like. I feel like it's like that. But I'm not saying go around shooting people just for you to balance your life. That's not really what I'm saying. But all I'm saying is, bro, you have to acknowledge the people that you fuck with and you look up to. Don't just... Don't just... Don't just give away your energy to people that don't really deserve it. That's all that I think I wanted to say, bro.